yesterday there was sun and there was rain beauty in the monday and as the light startled our eyes we let go of disguise and now there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin Restoring everything within oh, oh, oh. Well hey guys, welcome back to the Farmhouse Knitting Podcast. This is a new season and my name is Dana. I'm coming to you from the woods of Northern Illinois in my 1834 farmhouse. And I'm super excited to check in with you guys and start knitting together because it's been a little while and I feel like I am ready to start podcasting again, but it's going to look a little different. And it's pretty much going to look like this, at least for the time being. And that's because I realized it's just what I need to do to kind of make my soul happy as far as creating art and making it more about the visual and less about me and being in front of the camera and all that comes with that. And so this is the reason I started my podcast and I feel like I'm kind of just coming back into it and knowing that it's going to be different from other knitting podcasts and that's totally okay and that's actually the reason why I even started doing it this way. So I'm excited to just catch up with you guys. Today I'm going to be sharing what I'm knitting for winter of 2023 which is crazy to say as a new year but I'm excited to talk about what I'm hoping to finish and what I'm hoping to cast on and um, I, I hope you guys have something cozy and can hang out and knit for a little bit with me but um, yeah I guess we'll just dive into the uh, the episode. So for starters today I'm knitting just a regular vanilla sock. This is a pattern by the Crazy Sock Lady and I'm using let's see number one US one uh, nine inch circular needles and this yarn I will if I can find its information I'll write it in the description but otherwise it's from I believe Hobby Lobby and I got it when it was on sale so I think it's like one of their hand painted ones that go on sale in the summer but I don't know its actual name so yeah I'm just knitting a regular vanilla sock it's this beautiful purple deep purple color um and I'm knitting it for a fun reason my friend is actually having her first baby this very weekend and so I'm knitting her a pair of new mom self-care cozy socks because I wanted to give her something besides for the baby I wanted to give her something for her and I feel like a lot of times when you first have a baby everyone's excited for the baby but I didn't want to forget mom and especially with it being her first baby I wanted to give her something cozy she can wear around the house or you know really whenever but I really was kind of thinking around the house and she's you know those very new days of having a baby she's doing a lot of nursing a lot of sitting and she'll probably want some comfortable things to wear so that's what I'm knitting right now I am actually wearing my uh let's see i was calling these the farmhouse chicken socks there is not a pattern yet but they're just a pair of shorty socks um with a little cable detail up the front uh hopefully maybe i can turn into a pattern i don't know um i did do a video tutorial about how to make these since then i added a couple stitches i think i added five stitches onto the leg because they are a pair of shorty socks but the other pair that i made I wasn't quite happy with its fit. I felt like they were always falling down. These fit like a glove on my feet. They are little foot gloves and they're super cozy. Um, it's The yarn is Mandy's Makings and it was from, let's see, it was leftover from one of her share pairs, I wanna say. You know what? This yarn is not Mandy's Making. Yes, it is. I honestly don't know anymore. This might be leading men. No, this is Mandy's Makings. Okay, 
So the yarn is Mandy's Makings, and it was one of her share pairs from a while ago. It was called A Beautiful Rain. I don't think she makes it anymore, but you could do it with any share pair with, um, or any, you know, sack yarn and minis or scrap yarn or whatever, but it's sack yarn. And the toe and cuff are the same color, and the heel is kind of a, I don't know, more of a, a cool gray. Or I guess this is more of a warm gray. This is a cool gray. So that is um, my sock situation today, and it's a glorious situation because it's it's one of those days where I don't want full on heavy wool socks, but it's still winter, so I still want something. And so that's, uh, that's what I'm wearing today. So let's talk winter knitting. So for me, I'm going to define winter knitting as January through March. And for me, this is really when the most of my knitting until like August, September is really going to be happening. I don't knit as much in the summer. I used to kind of push my way through it and I found that I'm not much of a summer knitter. It's just... It's too hot and I've since taken up gardening. I'm still a newbie, but it's still kind of more how I'd rather spend nap time when the kids are down and I can go outside and do that. So winter knitting is going to be about January through March projects. And so other than this pair of socks that I'm working on, because I'm hoping I will finish them quickly and get them over to her when I bring over some dinner and some snacks for her when she has her baby. I have a few projects in mind. So one of those is a whip and I don't have it here. It's my car knitting project, which if you guys have been around, you know that I like to keep a really basic car project. So anything that's like just straight stockinette or garter stitch. And I keep it in my car for if I'm ever waiting in the car or I go somewhere and I forget to bring knitting, which happens. Um, so yeah, that's the homebody sweater and I do think I shared it in the last episode and I've had quite a lot of progress on it, but I'm still on the body. Um, it's a pattern by Lady J Crochet and it's a knitting pattern. So it's basically a stockinette sweater. I'm using Wool of the Andes, worsted, and it's not tweed. It's just like a dark brown. Um, and... Let's see, what else about this sweater? Oh, so I'm gonna go over it with duplicate stitch afterwards, which I haven't ever done. So I'm excited to try, because I have some other duplicate um, like knitting project ideas in mind that I wanna try down the road. But for now, I'm working on that sweater. Um, yeah, still on the body, but I'm cruising through it every time I'm in the car or uh, going over to my parents or my sisters and I forgot to bring something, but that's the story. That's that's number one is that I'd like to finish that whip because um, I've been on a bit of a sweater quest and I don't know if I have the patience for a fingering weight sweater yet. <laughs> Maybe I'll get there, but I'm learning that I'm not a chunky sweater person because it, it just doesn't look right on me. It's too bulky. Um, it looks cool on the people modeling it, but it doesn't work for me. Um, so... Yeah, I'm going to hopefully finish this worsted sweater soon and then I will share a picture on Instagram. So I'm hoping to get on Instagram more often. Uh, I'm not into reels and stuff, but if you like some good old fashioned pictures of knitting, um, go follow me on Instagram at the Seal Farmhouse. And uh, yeah, once I finish that sweater, I would love to share it there. And then obviously next time I'm on here, I'll show you guys what that's looking like. So that's number one on my winter knitting list. Number two is something that was actually on my, what I wanted to knit in 2022 list and never did. And that's the Winter Honey Shawl by Andrea Maori. I didn't finish it last time because I was using acrylic yarn that I just kind of had. It was stash yarn. I wasn't excited about it. I already kind of wasn't so sure about a shawl because I don't really... I don't, I've never worn a shawl actually, but I'm still intrigued. There's something about it. Like I don't have to wear it as a shawl if I don't end up liking that look. I can wear it as a scarf. And since I'm not really knitting sweaters, like I want to be able to knit something besides socks that I feel like is part of my wardrobe that people can see and it's not totally just hidden. So 
that's the hope. I'm actually headed to our yarn shop, our local yarn shop soon because they're having a yarn sale. And so I'm hopeful that I'll find something that's worsted weight in a sweater or a shawl quantity. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping I'm going to make the bigger size, of course, because it looks looks more cozy. So I'm going to make the bigger size of the winter honey shawl. And so that's number two on my list. I haven't finished a pattern by Andrea Mowry and I really love her patterns. I just, a lot of them are color work and I don't do color work as, as much. So I'm kind of hoping that this will be a good starting point and hopefully be fun to do. So yeah, we will see if I can find yarn that matches that project. I'm trying to be better about having a project in mind before I get the yarn for it because otherwise you end up with not enough yarn or it's just the wrong fiber or I don't know. So I do know I'm going into it looking for something that's going to be warm. Um, hopefully something that's wool or something soft or just something warm because I'm imagining making this big size of the shawl and just wrapping up in it. And so yeah, that's that's where I'm at, and hopefully I have more intentional yarn buying habits by doing that. So that's kind of the inspiration behind, um, I guess, my next project is that I'm going to the yarn shop, and I haven't gone in a while, and so I'm excited to see what they've got. Plus, it's on sale, which is always exciting for me. Um, okay, so the next thing that I'm hoping to knit is a pair of sacks I shared before. Um, I really only had the cuff and actually I'll, let me see if I have them here. I do. So I really only have the cuff, but it's this really cool tweedy, like chocolatey colored yarn, um, which is also the Knit Pixel of the Andes. This is the tweed. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but it's tweedy and it's chocolatey. Um, so I'm designing a pattern called the um, what is it? The Coco Cabin Sock. And it's going to be a cabin sock, like most of my, all my other socks, pretty much. Oh, what did I do here? Sorry. Splitting my yarn. Okay. It's going to be a cabin sock, but I have a fun, uh, fun idea for it. So it's not going to actually be released right away, but hopefully, um, I can make the sock and share a little bit of behind the scenes about it and um, let you guys know what the plan is once I've gotten like a release date and stuff like that. But some, some fun stuff that I'm going to be working on all year long, but it's not ready to come out yet. So that's, I guess, project number three. I don't have a huge list of knits, but I do realize that one's a sweater that I'm still trying to give arms and life to, and one is a shawl that I haven't started yet. And so I'm Imagining that's probably going to take up most of my time. Um, once I finish these socks and then like when it's intentional knitting time, I'll work on the sock, um, the Coco Cabin socks I'm designing. But when it's like just for fun knitting time, I'll probably be working on the shawl and still keep this, the sweater as my, my uh, car project because I've never done a shawl. I don't know if that's going to be a little bit tricky with the shaping or I don't know what, but that's the plan is I'm going to be knitting those three projects. Like I said, January through March, hopefully I can finish all of them by March. Um, I might, if I can finish the Coco Cabin Socks, I might cast on the next pair of cabin socks that I'm going to be working on for said project later in the year, but that's pretty much the plan. Um, Oh, I do have one other thing, and that is actually just another pair of cabin sacks. Um, I'm going to be using this yarn, which is the Wool of the Andes in Aurora Heather. And I have a pair of sacks in this, and it's super pretty. It's really wintry and just pretty. I have another friend who's having a baby later this month that I would like to get these knit really quick. Um, they take super fast, I mean days. So... I want to knit her up a pair of uh, cabin sacks. I don't know if I'll do the, I'm thinking something chunkier. So I'm thinking either the pumpkin patch or the sweet cider cabin sacks, um, which I'll link if you are wondering what those are. And if it sounds like I'm speaking a foreign language, um, I'll show you guys in the description box. 
you can go check out what those uh, cabin socks are. But yeah, I have a couple gift nets to finish up for pregnant friends. Now this one, she's, it's not her first baby, it's her third, but um, you could always use some cozy socks when you've just had a baby, I feel like. So that's kind of where my winter knitting is taking me. But I'm trying to be realistic with the timeline. Um, like I said, it's it doesn't seem like that many projects. So it's that four projects, um, which really doesn't seem like a lot, but it's three months. So I'm hopeful that it's enough and enough, like it's enough, it's enough projects and enough variety between a shawl, a sweater, and some socks. <laughs> I'm hoping that it will be enough to just be the right amount of winter knitting without like, I don't know. I kind of went a little bit too much into the Christmas knits. I didn't end up finishing all the ones I had hoped to do and I had to uh, supplement with getting something else. But yeah, I'm kind of um, a little bit tired of knitting certain things after some of the Christmas knits I was doing. I did a lot of mittens and so I'm ready to kind of just be done with mittens for a while. Um, and fingering weight socks. So this is the last pair I'm going to be doing for a little while because that was most of my Christmas knitting that I did. So yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys and see where you guys are at. Are you feeling a little bit of a Christmas knitting hangover and ready to just have some slow projects? I feel like I was product knitting for Christmas and now I'm ready to just have, you know, those few things on my list and uh, just kind of enjoy the process of knitting and having the really cold, cozy nights at home, just working on some bigger things, especially as a sweater and a shawl grows. But that's all I have to share with you guys today. Um, I hope that you guys are excited for the new year and excited for some new videos coming from my channel. If you aren't subscribed, then please do because I'm hopeful that I can keep up the the um the posting schedule of posting once a week but it's you know like I said it's going to be this kind of format so if that's what you're into and it sounds like you want to come hang out in the farmhouse with me then come on hang out be back next week and um I'll share more with you guys then mm -hmm.